Hello everyone, welcome back. Joining me on the commentary booth because my partner, Madri Bread, had to take a really wicked piss, uh, is John Gargiulo, none other. Yeah, that's right, that's me, John Gargiulo, none other than me. I am the unique original and I am back Ooh. here in TCW to commentate this excellent match between Nightlife and Dank. Dank with a stiff kick, f uh, following Nightlife's lead of a stiff kick. Nightlife with his own stiff kick, and there's a stiff kick by Dank. Nightlife coming behind. I guess you could say that both of these men are stiff kick professionals. They're real shooters. Nightlife getting the, the uh, uh, wrist locked, and then going for a suck it taunt after that really stiff kick. Well, you know, you gotta, the, the suck it taunt is so you can suck your gut in after you take the kick, so it actually hurts more. He's encouraging his opponent to take more damage. It's very, very high-level mental games on the part of Nightlife, if I do say so myself. Dang went for that stiff kick, but got caught with a super kick, and now an Enzigiri corner step-up Enzigiri by Nightlife. Let me tell you, that was a real Enzigiri, the kind Lance Storm really dislikes. Nightlife setting him up. We've seen him do this several times before, not wasting time. Oh. Sunset flip power bomb. To Excuse the outside. me. And you know what you that are excused. was? You know what that was? You know what tape he was watching to do that move? Messiah versus John Zandig, CCW 2004, the match that ended John Zandig's career. He tried to end Dank's career right there. Nobody is a student of the game more than Nightlife. Let me tell you something. Another deadly Enzigiri takes down Dank along with a. Toss, just tossing him off the off the steps. Now utilizing his head very effectively right there. Now you see the hair on his head? That hair acts as a cushion while it protects him from the power <laughs> of his head, but it does not protect Ooh. his opponent. A third Enzigiri on that barricade, throwing him right back into the ring and a super kick while he's set up on the apron. Was that a shot at the Young Bucks? That might have been a shot at the Young Bucks. Uh, I think Grabbing we're in. It. I think we might be in for even more shots in this match. <laughs> Nightlife going to the top already. <laughs> going for something. Dank getting hit on the head and then just taking it. Looks like he was going for a dragon rana, but he fucked up. And then Dank was like, uh. uh. <laughs> Dank posturing to the crowd, taking out the leg with that chop block. Very smart maneuver. That's how you want to get a high flyer like Nightlife grounded. Just going constant work on the legs. Well, it might get him grounded if he feels pain, but we don't know. He might have been, uh, you know, might have been uh, taking some medicine in the back, and uh, he might not be feeling <laughs> any pain right now. I mean, you never know. He did tweet, if you do remember, he did tweet TCW420 just a few minutes ago, so. <laughs> Illicit activities aside, Dan getting him set up in that very, very technical Romero special. But Nightlife getting out of it very quickly. And you see he did a victory roll counter out of that, but he didn't actually hook Dank's legs, so the victory Ooh. roll was ineffective. Very nice. Oh, uh, Wheelbarrow Bulldog? Wheelbarrow the Bulldog, Shades of Jerry Lynn. Going for the cover already. Two Although it might have been a early. shot. It might have been a Ooh. shot, I couldn't tell. Another super kick. Going for that Houston hangover, 450 leg drop. Still only a two count though. Let me tell you, let me tell you something, Socks. These competitors, these competitors just have incredible fighting spirit, incredible stamina, incredible durability, and incredible strength and power, as well as incredible agility. Although on the agility front, I think Nightlife has Dank beat by a considerable portion. Dank hitting that deadly sledgehammer. We've seen him put out several people with that in the past. I think Good that was a Phil. shot at Chris Masters. Looking for something. Nightlife getting behind him, going for that Frankensteiner pin. Only a two count though, let's look at that again. See him get set up here, go for that sledgehammer. Now you see that Polish hammer move right there. That is a very, very tried and true face breaking maneuver. Just ask Stevie Richards. Nightlife off the offensive again, quick drop kick. Taking him down with that, that West Coast maneuver. pop right there. There we go. And there's really another just... West Coast pop of sorts. <laughs> Telling him to suck it, but no. I thought we were going to see a big comeback here by Dank, but Nightlife cut him down pretty quickly. Telling him, him to suck it again. 
Cut him off, a hit with that standing moonsault, then the enzigiri, but it looks like Dank is back on the offensive once again. This man is just not going to take no for an answer. And he's certainly not going to take an enzigiri for an answer either. Hitting him with his backside, and then a nice cross body. What is this, 1983? Come on. Dank looking for something big here. Could he be posturing too much? No! <laughs> big leg drop. You know, if he had done a few more theatrics on that, we might have had to call Scotty Too Hotty in to sue him for gimmick infringement. He definitely did a very theatrical elbow drop just there. Getting his leg set up on the tor on the uh, on the corner. This cannot be legal. Whatever he is planning. Actually, I believe this is legal in Colorado. Oh, oh. okay, that's hmm. not legal there. That's not legal. Only a two count though. Although I guess the referee doesn't really care. Uh, the referees in TCW are notoriously corrupt, and it's very it's frequent true. for both contestants, both combatants, to pay the referees off before the match. Signaling that he's going to go for that heart punch and then just... I, I think, think he actually pulled an invisible gun and did in fact shoot Nightlife, so he may be witnessing a legitimate murder here. We should probably call the cops. Nightlife looks fine, though. There's no entry or exit wounds. Well, he's got fighting spirit. It's true. Dank looking for something here. This very creative figure four choke. That looked like he was going to do a reverse hurricane run outside of the ring, which would have been incredible. But instead okay, cool. he went for a tarantula. <laughs> oh my god! Everybody out of the pool! Incredible sensational flip dive from Nightlife. The aerial artist, the aerial assaulter. The incredible, unbeatable <laughs> Nightlife sends him back in the ring. Really going back to the well with these super kicks, just not wasting any time. Definitely a shot at the Young Bucks. <laughs> and a beautiful spinning heel kick. I think Jerry Lynn would be proud. <laughs> Reverse Rana! Looking for something here. 450 splash. Still only a two count. I gotta tell you, I think that was more like two and three quarters, or maybe 2.8. Dank coming back, not phased by the 450, looking for a European uppercut. Nightlife manages to get him up on his shoulders. Night Driver, no! Dank sent it scouted, but he oh, hits him. Oh, the exclamation the point! The exclamation point! That's a signature move! One, two, and oh! That's almost. it, we thought, we thought Nightlife had it there. Dank had the Night Driver scouted, but he managed to hit him with those angel's wings, those that exclamation point, as you called it. Yes, that is what he called the move. I was talking to him in the back earlier. He calls it the exclamation point. And a beautiful standing moonsault. The second one of this match. Nightlife is a moonsault master. Very nice. Over the top rope, uh, Tope Atomico. Still only a two count. The fighting spirit displayed by these com combatants is incredible. Oh my god! <laughs> Whisper in the wind! Excuse me! Kind of seemingly nowhere. Still, only a two count. Dave will not go down. Let's and see this again. He went for see. the night. He went for the night driver. Dank saw it coming, but did not see this. Beautiful sequence. You can counter one move, but it's going to be tough to counter multiple moves in a row. Let me tell you. And the night, like channeling his inner willow right there. Back to the match at hand. <laughs> <laughs> reverse atomic drop. I think there's a little bit of TCW 420 going on at this commentary table right now. <laughs> going back to these jobs. I might have to call this match alone. It's okay, I'm steeled for this. Dank looking for, probably looking for sweet chin music. We saw Kristen do this earlier. No, instead he doesn't bother. He picks him up on his shoulders. Sweet UFO music, it looks like. <laughs> Very deadly airplane spin. You know what that airplane spin will do? It'll take out your equilibrium and ground you for this. Like, oh, oh, body yes. splash. Looks like Nightlife back on his feet, though. But you see him clutching that gut. That airplane spin oh. really took his insides for a whirl. But he hits him with that beautiful drop saw. Now he's got him right where he wants him. Very nice. Very nice inverted... Uh, Samoan drop. Dank catching him though off whatever dive he was going to do. Manages to plant him right there. Incredible show of strength by Dank right there. Just incredible. Dank, what could he be thinking here? 
No. No, he can't be doing this. Not is this. Is this the worm? <laughs> he Could is he be doing the worm? For a worm? Oh my god. D A N K. I think you were right about TCW 420 here in this match. Brad tweeting up a storm about that worm. Going for the cover. Only still a two count. Let me tell you something. I just got a text message from Sky Too Hotty. He is sending about four dozen lawyers to TCW, so he Ooh. might be out of business after this pay per view, my friend. Nice Falcon Arrow there by Nightlife. Going to work on that 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 tongue and death grip of sorts. I didn't even know the Nightlife knew any submission holes. This is very interesting. It's, I was only aware of the aerial moves he could do. Nightlife is a very diverse wrestler. Really just pinching the nerve there. Dank taking out his feet. Uh, it didn't seem to do him much good, though. Dank getting him up on his shoulders. Could you think airplane spin no more time? No, <laughs> getting him with that flapjack. I gotta tell you something. That was a beautiful flapjack out of that fireman's carry. That elbow drop we almost saw him hit earlier manages to connect. I think this could be it. No! 2.9! Nightlife Look at the heart. The heart out. and the determination of Nightlife. And he takes it down. He rolls him up in the corner. No! No! So he two. kicks out. Incredible. Incredible. This match is something else. Let me tell you, my friend. A spinning heel kick. Manages to take him down. Was that a shot at the new icon of WWE Sting? Another standing moonsault. A fourth standing moonsault. I don't know how many moonsaults we've seen in this match. I think with the moonsaults, brother. Wait, what's he got here? And that rolling fireman's carry slam. And he ascends the top rope. He says he's going for the Could title be... here. <laughs> the shooting star double foot stomp. The mark out moment. It's That's one. It. It's two. It. It's three. That's it. This match is over. And this match is over. What a classic. Here is your winner, the anime king, Nightlife. Nightlife takes home the victory with that sensational shooting star double stomp that he calls the mark out moment. And uh, in tribute to his friend, of course, the ultimate mark, ultimate mark out, also competing in this tournament. Also, the name is a shot at the former CZW tag team, the best around circa 2008-2009. Well, thank you for joining me on the commentary booth, John Gargiulo. Uh, my friend Madry Bread might be coming back uh, relatively soon. And these are the current standings.